Hey guys. Hello, hello. Hi. I am waiting for everyone to pop on. <clears throat> Hi guys. Oh, we got somebody. Hello, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Who do we got? Hi. Good morning, Nicole. <clears throat> hi, good morning, you guys. So, hi. Now, each month I share with you guys um, our team newsletter. Hi, Adrian. Um, so I, do, I create a team newsletter for you guys each month. I create a um, customer newsletter each month via email. Um, now, let me preface all of this by saying, since he does this for you, Okay, so a customer email, since he's, since he's got you covered. So if this is not an extra step that you want to add to your list of things that you do already, um, it is not something that you have to do, right? And even in the workstation, let me see if I can pull it up for you guys to see. Okay, it's already gone. Um, <clears throat> but in the workstation on the home screen for the last few days, I'm sure you guys have noticed it says um, your customer newsletter is going to be going out, uh, going out soon. Customize here, and then you click it, and then it'll take you to customize your newsletter, the um, the one that Sensi sends out for you, right? So they already have a team that formats a newsletter for you. Um, it's simple. It has pertinent information, and then that goes out to your customers, right? <clears throat> So um, for me personally, I don't I don't mess with that one. I just let Sensi do its thing. Um, so I don't ever personalize mine or, or change it up or anything um, when it comes to the Sensi version that Sensi sends out, right? Um, because I create my own each month. Now I do this because yes, it's extra work. Yes, it, it takes a little bit extra time, but I do this because I want something that comes from me that's that's personal, that I am getting specifically what I want across to them. Um, so it's something that I do. So anyway, I use a service called MailChimp. Okay, so MailChimp, like <laughs> MailChimp, <laughs> um, MailChimp.com. There are other um, email services that you guys can use. Um, MailChimp is the first one that was introduced to me, and I spent time figuring it out. And I've just I've I've gotten used to it, so I, I've not even tried the other. So I'm sure there's other ones that are out there that are just as good that you could try. This is the one that I prefer because it's the one that I know. So hi. So anyway, so MailChimp.com, okay? So <clears throat> a couple things. With MailChimp, it's changed a, a bit over the last couple of years. Um, so I am just gonna kind of update a updatedly show you um, how it works. It's very simple once you figure it out. And the great thing is, is once you kind of do it once, it makes doing it again and again very simple. Um, there's, <laughs> so, I'm like there's someone singing in behind me. <laughs> The TV turned on somehow. <laughs> oh, sorry guys. So, okay, so here we go. So what you're gonna wanna do is um, you're gonna do this from your computer. There is an app, MailChimp does have an app, um, but you it's it's not as easy to maneuver um, on the app. So I can do, I can put something together. It's just not as good as what I would have done on the computer. Um, so go to your computer, go to your laptop. You're gonna pull up your workstation and you're gonna pull up MailChimp.com, okay? Now MailChimp does have two versions. There's a free version and there is a paid version, okay? So the paid version is not one that I have um, invested in yet. So they have to where you can add up to 2,000 contacts, okay? So 2,000 um, people you can import in there and, and it'll start sending those um, to those for free, okay? So um, when you get past 2,000 is when you would have to look into doing something like the paid version. So if you have under 2,000 contacts, under 2,000 customers, um, then you're good to go. So anyway, um, so I'm gonna turn you around. <clears throat> 
All right, so you're gonna want into your workstation as well as your MailChimp.com, okay? So here's your workstation. And then you're gonna go to reports or reporting, okay? Um, actually, for this one, I'm gonna go into my contacts. Hold on, contacts, there we go. <clears throat> okay, so here are contacts, right? So these are a list of all the contacts that you have through Sensi. Now, up here, there's a little bar that says export to Excel, okay? You're gonna do that, oh, look, there it is. Okay, so you've got this, right? Okay, you would double click on this, dun dun dun. And it's gonna pull up your Excel spreadsheet, which is weirdly down there. Okay, now you're gonna enable editing, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna select and then do um, control A, which is going to highlight everybody, okay? And then you're gonna do control C, which is gonna copy all of that, right? Okay, so you, it's like you, you had highlighted it all and then right click copy, okay? Now, my husband's a techie guy and he, he showed me that, you guys. I feel special, okay. Then you're gonna go to your MailChimp, okay? Once you've created an account, <clears throat> you're gonna go to um, where it says audience, okay? Audience, this is where all of your contacts are kept. Then you're gonna go to manage audience, okay? Import contacts. There we are, all right, now over here, it's gonna give you a list on how you can import. Since I just copied, I'm gonna do copy paste from file, okay, hit continue. And then here, you're gonna go here, right click, and then paste. Okay, so it's gonna take a second because I, I just did a lot. All right. <clears throat> See, there it goes. All right, so all these things. Now, if you haven't noticed already, in some of your contacts, you've got duplicates. <clears throat> so this is where people have made like a duplicate account or their orders don't mesh. Um, so these are duplicates, but it's gonna fix it in just a moment, okay? So you're gonna hit, I understand, da da da. Okay, and then you're gonna continue. All right, <clears throat> now here, it's gonna sort for you in columns. It's gonna have their names, and then any miscellaneous columns, you can just, what I do is I just hit skip all. So these are the columns that they haven't been able to sort. So like where it has like email, false, like these random words from the, that, um, that export report, okay? So where it had like these random things here. Okay, that's what it's gonna skip. So it won't skip anything important. All right, so then you're gonna go continue to organize. <clears throat> then it's telling you it's going to make all of these people subscribed. All right, so great. And then you can do update existing contacts if, if there's duplicates, there we go. All right, so it says you're all set to import and you're gonna hit import. All right, so it's importing right now. Import is complete. Perfect. Okay, so it's going to refresh in just a second. Bum, bum, bum. There we go. All right, so here's all of our, here's all of my people, right? So these are all of my customers. Now, important thing. Before, okay, so I told you MailChimp's changed up a little bit in the last couple of years. So before what would happen is I was able to have 2,000 contacts, but it could be divided in as many groups as I wanted it to be, right? Now their update only allows you to have one, what they call audience, up to 2,000 contacts. So I can't have multiple different, so I couldn't have like a customer audience and then a team audience. I have to have just one audience with the free version. If you have the upgraded, obviously you would have however many, um, but with the free, I can have one audience that has up to 2,000 contacts, okay? So I've got my contacts in there now for just my customers. Now I'll show you guys at the end what I do for you because I don't send it through MailChimp. I create your newsletter on MailChimp, but I don't send it on MailChimp, okay? So I'm going to turn you back around and show you how we create the, what they call the campaign, which is the email, all right? Okay, now again, I am not an expert, but this is just how I do it, all right? So we're gonna do, uh, so you've got your audience, all of this is all of this is up to date, right? Um, and I call my audience Cottage Connection. That's what I call all my customer base, all right? <clears throat> now, we're gonna go to create. We're gonna create an email, all right? What's it called? We're gonna call this tester. <laughs> we'll call this the tester. All right, we're gonna begin. All right, now then it's gonna show us 
this portion here. Okay, so it says, who am I sending it to? All my subscribed contacts in the Cottage Connection. And then you can edit this, edit recipients. Obviously, if you were doing a paid version, you, have, you would have different types of audiences here that you can choose from. But for me, I just have the one, so there we go. Who's it from? I already have it filled in to do Scentsy with Blue Cottage Mommy. What's the subject? Obviously, you're gonna put a subject line. Sometimes I do like a teaser. Like this month for my new, my customer newsletter, I did like $300 in free Scentsy, what? You know, um, so whatever your teaser is. And then you're gonna do your contact. Okay, so this is just, a, all right, there we go. Save. All right, so your content here, okay? So design email. Now, when you do this, it's gonna ask you, what template you want to use okay so these are featured templates basic templates things like that i always go for this one this is the one i always choose um and then you can also once you create one and i'll show you guys in this just a minute um you can save whatever you create as a template as well and then work off of that now here i already have it's hard to see um i already have my watermark on up here so this is already saved i've already had it saved in here okay so um you can hit image and here's all the images I've uploaded already. So let's just do this guy, all right? So now you can see my watermark a little bit more clearly, um, and this is my header. Now, a lot of people get confused as to how to change the background color. You go to style over here, okay? Body, and then hit color, and then you can do whatever color that you want. So there you go. And then you hit save and then go back to the blocks, all right? Now, obviously it's already got a few things here for you to work with. If you don't like any of this, what you can do is just delete it. See the little trash can, hit delete, boop, gone. All right, now you can customize it, right? So if you want to have another text box, click the text box and drag it over and drop it right there, there it is, all right? If you want, and then it'll have you customize it, right? And then if you want, say you want to share a video. So if you've noticed in your um, team newsletters, like for um, our holiday bricks, I attached a YouTube video that Sensi had created on how they pour the bricks. So you can do this, you would click. Oh, hold on, no, that's not what I wanted. Go back. <laughs> what did I do? There we go, okay. So, I'm gonna edit it here, okay? And then it says video URL. So you would just go to YouTube. So let's go to YouTube. Okay, youtube.com, YouTube, there we go. And let's say I want to show you, I don't know, oh, it's not signed in, that's why. Sign in, sign in. There we go. All right, now it's signed in. Okay, so let's say I want to show you guys Kim Polito's how to Google Doc thing. All right, so we're going to share, copy, and then go here, and then you would just paste that link to the video, and look, there it is. Isn't that awesome? Super easy, super simple. So whatever whatever video, you, so if you've created something you want your customers to see, you can upload it to YouTube and then attach it to your newsletter, okay? Does that make sense? Um, so you can customize, so this is a button here, so um, you can put that there, and then you can make that button say anything you want. So say pre-order Baby Yoda. Okay, look, now it says pre-order Baby Yoda, and then you could put a, um, a link to your Google Doc right there, so when they click on that, it would take them to, their go to your Google Doc link or wherever you're sending them. So anytime I do a newsletter, you guys, I have it to where um, there's a button underneath every section. So new warmer of the month, buy it here. New collection, buy it here, because I want them to be able to have it right there at their fingertips and not have to worry about, well, where do I go? Um, so you basically just drag and drop everything that you need, okay? So you've got an image, group of images, your button, all the things, okay? So really play around with it. It really doesn't take that much time. Now, once you are done, okay? Once you are done here, um, you're gonna hit continue up there, all right? Continue, and then it's gonna say send. Okay, once it, it, not, it knows that I'm not done, so um, there's no send button, but once it's all done, you can hit send, okay? Um, now, let's talk about what happens with your newsletter, okay? So let's do edit here. Okay, and I'm gonna go up here to template, all right? Switch templates. 
Now, what I do each month is when I create my, um, my customer newsletter, I then do your team newsletter, okay? So I do save templates. Now here's my March Madness that I did. Okay, so switch templates. There we go, okay? And then I'm able to edit it so that it works for you guys, okay? So, because the, a lot of the, the monthly content's gonna be the same, but the information going to you is different. So like, I've got the warmer of the month information, but then I've got the upcoming warmer of the month information, which I'm not sending to customers. So this is to go to you guys. Now, I can't send this email th uh, through MailChimp to you, but what I do then, um, is, and it, this is mainly for leaders um, that are watching that want to do this, you can go to preview, okay? So preview, enter preview mode, all right? And then you're going to just click down and copy, highlight and copy all of this. Through. Copy, 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 copy. Okay, I'm going to go down, keep going. All right, Ooh. see, there we go, all right, okay? You're gonna right click, copy, and then you're gonna go to the workstation, all right? Under reporting tab, my performance, start a downline report, okay? And then what I do is I'll go, because our team's so large, I go to 250. Okay, it's gonna sort you guys, there we go. We're gonna check this box, because it's gonna check all 250 of you on this, on this thing, all right? And then you're gonna go to email. All right, then it's gonna bring it up an email. From this point, I can put whatever I want in the subject line. And then here, I'm gonna right click and hit paste. It's gonna bring up a box. I'm gonna hit paste again. Boop. And there is my whole letter that I made on MailChimp. Now I can send to you guys exactly what I created on MailChimp through the workstation. So I can create it on, on MailChimp and then send it through the workstation. So this is my, my workaround on having the 2000 contacts because obviously adding you guys to that, um, I'm not able to because it would send to all of you plus all of my customers. So, and I want you guys having two separate things. So there you go. So that is it. Any questions, you guys? Hi, any questions? Now this, guys, um, having your having your own newsletter is great because you're able to personalize it. You're able to make it to where they're seeing exactly what you want them to see. Um, hold on. I'm trying to pull up. I mean, you guys have seen it. Let's see. Where's okay. Campaigns. And then here, let me show you this before I let you go. All right, so here's are all of my campaigns that I've done before, okay? And you can replicate it, you can edit it, you can do anything that you like, okay? And then you're able to see stats as well. So how many people have opened it, how many people click the buttons that you put in there, all that stuff. Um, so these are really great. You're able, again, to personalize it. Um, it's just another touch point that I make for my customers so that they know what it is that's going on in my life, what is, what is going on with Sensi and all the things. So um, anyway. That's it. And if you have any questions, let me know. But anyway, I hope this was helpful. Bye, guys.